Hi, I'm Pastor Julie Jenkins with Addiction Free in Christ, a ministry of miracles, a ministry without walls or boundaries, a threefold ministry. First of all, helping people receive salvation through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Two, helping people receive deliverance from the slavery of addiction and to receive healing in their spirit, mind, soul, and body. And this is the word for the weekend. Well, I am so thankful you're here to watch with me. So let us open in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that as my friends, my brothers and sisters in Christ watch this video, that you would minister to them the hope and the healing that is found only in you through that relationship, Lord, with you, Lord, Lord God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. God, we just thank you for your abundant mercy and your provision. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, one of the things the Lord has impressed on my heart is that all the promises of God are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. Let me take you to first, second Corinthians, sorry, second Corinthians 1, 20 and 21. It says for, and it's talking about Jesus, for the son of God, Jesus Christ, who was preached among you by us, by me, Silvanus and Timothy was not yes and no, but in him was yes. For all the promises of God in him are yes, and in him, amen, to the glory of God through us. Now he who establishes us with you in Christ had anointed us in God, has anointed us is, is God, who has sealed us and given us the spirit in our hearts as a guarantee. The Lord has put a guarantee in our hearts, and that is by the Holy Spirit. When you surrendered your life to Jesus Christ, God put his Holy Spirit within you, and that is the power of God. Pastor Jerry talks about the Holy Spirit being the power of God, and that's the power to overcome addiction and any problem or spiritual warfare that that you may be encountering today because a lot of us are undergoing, excuse me, spiritual warfare of various kinds. And God has the answer to all these things. And what we need to do is wait on the Lord, you know, to be patient and wait on him to deliver us, to free us from the, the trials or the problems that we find ourselves facing. Um, we see signs in the earth of Jesus' return. Matthew 24, let me turn to that. Because I think that's where we're at today. Um, it's, it's, I think it's Matthew 24. Um, this is about the signs of the times and the end of the age. Jesus was speaking to his disciples in Matthew 24, starting... Uh, verse 4, Jesus answered and said, Take heed that no one deceives you. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will deceive many. Um, and we see that now, people claiming to be Jesus or an anointed one of some sort, but they are not the Messiah. And you will hear of wars and rumors of war. See that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines, pestilences, earthquakes in various places where we have seen all this fulfilled. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will be offended and betray one another and will hate one another. Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. You see that with false religions, any religion that doesn't uh, follow Jesus, you know, as as the Son of God uh, is a is a false religion. And because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. Because of all the lawlessness we're seeing now, we do see the love of many growing cold. But it says, he who endures to the end 
shall be saved. And what causes us the, to have that endurance to the end, to the rapture of the church? It's the Holy Spirit's power within us. He gives us the endurance, and it says, And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, and then the end will come. And Jerry's going to do, Pastor Jerry, my husband, is going to do a sermon on this part that uh, that it will be preached. The, war, the gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, and then the end will come. This has happened through... Uh, through cell phones, technology, every corner of the world now has cell phone technology and a translation key on their cell phones so they can have the gospel uh, preached to them through apps and, and there are missionaries all over the world. The gospel has been preached to all over the world. So we all that needs to be fulfilled for Jesus to return has been returned. So we need to start looking up because our redemption draws nigh. But here's a promise. Since all the promises of God are yes and amen through Christ, that means all the promises that Jesus made in the New Testament and all the promises uh, our God made in the Old Testament, all because the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit are all one God. One God, three persons. And it's kind of hard to explain and it's hard for us to grasp. But uh, we have many analogies that Pastor Jerry has gone over to help you with that. Uh, understanding he has a, a teaching on the Trinity on this YouTube channel also. So I, I'd like to refer you to that also to our YouTube channel at Rev Jerry Jenkins. And um, also it says about... One of the promises that we have is that in Isaiah 54, no weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. So when someone insults you, they're insulting God because it, he's the one that you're going forth in his name to help people or to be his, just to be his child, to be his sheep. When they insult you, they're trying to get at God's kid and it's their way of trying to get at God, you know, to get back at God. But that weapon will not prosper and soon you're going to see everything all turn around. And God heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. So no matter what kind of uh, persecution you're facing, God has the answer. Uh, maybe it's someone even in your own household who doesn't understand anything about Jesus, you know, and they're wanting to, uh, uh, they're wanting to rebel against you because you believe in him and they make, maybe they make fun of you and stuff like that. But that Jesus said, blessed are those who are worthy to, under, to undergo persecution for his name's sake. So just stand and believe in the promises the Lord has for you. And he says to all of us uh, in Isaiah 55, 6, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts. You know, in the days of Noah, before the flood came, the thoughts of men were evil continuously. And that's uh, where we're at today, too. Um, just as in the days of Noah were, so will the coming of the Son of Man be, Jesus said. That means his second coming would come. His, his, the rapture of the church and the second coming because the, the thoughts of men will be so bad. And it will be just like the same thing rehappening again, replaying. So as in the days of Noah, so will be in the days of the Son of Man. And then the thoughts of most... Were, and, and men's and there was so much violence in Noah's day also. So we see the same cycle repeating itself. But this is what God says to us. So let him return to the Lord. Put away the idols. You know, put away anything in your life that's that's hindering you from spending time with the Lord, and and getting on a schedule with Him. 
Let him return to the Lord, and he will have mercy on him to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, and nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, my thoughts than your thoughts. So um, what he's saying is he, he's so much higher than us, so you don't have to worry. You know, I mean, God has this situation under control in your life, and you don't have to worry. Uh, he hasn't gone anywhere. It says the eyes of the Lord are everywhere, watching the good and the evil. He's aware of what's happening in your life, and he hasn't gone anywhere. He loves you completely, and you need to just connect with him and not be discouraged, but to take heart in the promises that God has for you and all that Jesus has for you. And it says, um, God says about his word, so shall my word that goes forth from my mouth in Isaiah 55, 11, it shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. Uh, God, God will make it go forth, you know, for you shall go out with joy and be led out with peace. Uh, excuse me. For you shall, let me repeat that. <clears throat> For you shall go out with joy and be led with peace, and the mountains and the hills shall break into singing before you, and all the trees of the field shall clap your, their hands. And, and this, is, this is in the millennial kingdom, and this is also a projection into the new heavens and the new earth which the Lord will create. So there's going to be joy, and there's joy every day with him. For thus says the Lord, uh, also in Isaiah fifty seven fifteen, for this, for this says the high and lofty one who inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in a high and holy place with him who has a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. He's, he wants to revive you and bring you joy and bring you renewal and refreshing by the Holy Spirit. So <clears throat> let me close with you in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we just pray that you would touch my, my dear friends that are watching today of this ministry. Lord, we pray you'd minister healing and hope. Thank you, Jesus, that all the promises of God are yes and amen in you. And Lord, we just pray you touch and heal everyone that's listening today. Anything in their mind, soul, and body, and spirit. We thank you, Jesus, <clears throat> for taking it on the cross and taking it away for us. And God, we give you all the glory and honor and praise for what you're going to do in my brothers and sisters' lives. Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. Now, if I can be of any help to you, or if Pastor Jerry can be of any help to you, please give us a call at 217-617-5577. That's 217-617-5577. You can also visit our website at addictionfreeinchrist.com. Well, God bless you. Thank you for watching. We love you and we are praying for you. And please call in with your prayer request at 217-617-5577. We'd like to spend time with you if you need pastoral counseling at all. God bless you. Thank you for watching. We love you. Bye-bye.